All right, welcome everyone. This is Bobby from Greenmark Studios. Today we're going to be showing you very quickly how to set up multiple WordPress sites with MAMP Pro. Um, MAMP is some free software that allows you to run one WordPress site at a time at a URL. Typically the default is localhost. MAMP Pro is the purchase version of this software and the main reason for purchasing would be to set up multiple sites so that way you don't have to keep switching your root folder for your local server. So we're going to show you how to do this really quickly. We uh, served some forums, some tutorials, and noticed that there was nothing really quick and simple that showed everyone how to do this and we wanted to just get it out there. So hopefully this is as helpful as we hope it will be. Some tools you'll need, of course, uh, MAMP Pro. Um, also, you're going to need some sort of software for setting up your WordPress database locally. We like to use SQL Pro. Um, it's free software, very user-friendly for setting up a database. You can find it here at sqlpro.com. Download, totally free. They accept donations, and we encourage that as it is really great software. Um, you'll need a clean install of WordPress and, of course, uh, your favorite text editor. So let's get started. Step one, uh, install WordPress. You've, maybe you've already made your WordPress site and you're just wanting to host it locally. Maybe you haven't. We're going to pretend you haven't done anything. So we've downloaded WordPress from WordPress.org um, and it's sitting here in our downloads folder. Here it is. Woohoo! And we're going to name it after whatever the site is that we're making. So we're creating a website for a local foundation here called the Aaron Andrew Wilson Foundation. So I'm going to call this Aaron Andrew-WP. Great. And we'll go ahead and keep it in the downloads folder just for show. WordPress is installed. No problem. The next thing you're going to do is we're going to open up MAMP Pro. We're going to review the key settings that are important to making this work. And then we're going to create the new local site in MAMP Pro, which basically just means we're going to target that WordPress folder. So Create your new site with the plus sign. Server name is Aaron Andra. And disk location. So this is where you're going to choose where the WordPress folder actually is. And you want to grab the whole folder, not just the theme. Choose. Done. Um, and we'll go ahead and run over a few quick settings that might make or break whether or not this will work for you. So your Apache ports, this is what we're using. SSL. 8890 and MySQL 8889. Um, and then we also run our server as the user Robert Tani's, which is me. Um, some people do MySQL for this. Um, and then I'll just show you real quickly the different panels that we are running with these settings because if for some reason something doesn't work on your end after watching this tutorial, you can be sure that. It is either because of your MAMP Pro settings or not because of that. So here's some of the simple settings. And really, we've hardly changed anything in here. So hopefully your default settings are very similar to the ones that you're seeing here with us. OK, we've made the new site. We've targeted the folder. We're going to hit Apply. And we're going to start our MAMP Pro server. It's booting up. Stuff's working, stuff's working. While that's rolling out, we'll look at step three. We're going to create the database for that location. If you're not familiar with creating databases, if you have SQL Pro, it's as simple as clicking a button. And we'll show you that here. So you're going to boot up SQL Pro, and you're going to hit socket, and your username default is going to be root with a password of root and connect. Literally all you're going to have to do is add database and name it the same thing that you're seeing over here in your MAMP Pro local name. So Aaron Andra for us. Done. Minimize SQL Pro. Last step that you're going to do to make this work is edit the config sample.php file that's in your WordPress folder. So we're going to go to our WordPress folder, and here it is, configsample.php. Drag it over your favorite text editor. And this is where you have to change database name, username, and password. 
your name is going to be the same site name that you've been using for everything. So for us, Aaron Andra, which we typed into SQL Pro, and username and password, your default for MAMP, not much reason to deviate from this as you're working locally in this site. Of course, I wouldn't recommend this if you're going to end up hosting this site. Go ahead and save that to root and root. We'll close that, and you're going to need to rename this file wp-config. Delete the sample off of there. Boom. Now, if everything works like we say it should, you should load up the local URL. Now, don't skip this step. Um, very commonly, someone will just type in localhost, and that's not going to work. Because of our port names, we need to type in whatever you decided to call this site right here. So for us, Aaron Andra. And then after that, do a colon and 8888, which is our port number. Enter, and here it is. Voila, we have our new WordPress site hosted. You would create your title, username, password, install WordPress. You'd be ready to go at Aaron Andra colon 8888, or whatever your site name is called. And all of our other sites as well are currently loaded. So our green mark local is loaded up in MAMP. There it is. And one of our other customers, Higher Roofing Local, is booted up in MAMP right now. And this is, this is why you get MAMP Pro. We're working on eight different sites right now for clients, and they're all ready to go with one click of the MAMP Pro button. Hope this was helpful. Leave a comment if uh, you're having any troubleshooting issues, and hopefully get you squared away with MAMP Pro. Thank you.